In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set improper fractions into partial fractions. So let's say we are given this problem right here and we are asked to resolve this into partial fractions. How do we go by it? And before we start, it is important to know the key things that will let you determine if a given fraction is improper or proper fractions. Now you notice that right here we have the degree of the numerator to be 2, which is equal to the degree of the denominator, which is also 2. Now, if the degree of the numerator is equal to or greater than the degree of the denominator, then the whole fraction is improper. So the fact that we have the degree of this one to be 2 and then the degree of the denominator to be 2 as well make this fraction improper fraction. And in this case, how do we set the partial fractions for this? First things first, I'm going to put the division bar down just like this. And always the numerator will come on the inside. So we have x squared plus 1. Then the denominator will come on the outside, which will be x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now let's do the division. What times x squared will give me x squared? That is pretty easy. That is just 1. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times negative 3x, that is negative 3x. Then 1 times 2 that is going to be positive 2. And the next thing we want to do is to subtract. x squared minus x squared, that is going to give us 0. Then you notice that we don't have x term right here, meaning the x term here is just 0. So we have 0x minus minus 3x, that is going to be positive 3x. Then 1 minus 2, that is of course going to be negative 1. So we have a quotient here we can rewrite this in different form. So the problem now becomes x squared plus 1. Now you notice that here we have a quadratic factor. Now, whenever you have a situation like this, it is important to factorize. And in factoring this, we're going to have the whole thing to be x minus 1 times x minus 2. So if we factorize this right here, this is what we are going to get. And this is congruent to the quotient that we obtain, which is 1, plus the proper fraction. You notice that we change the numerator to what we have right here. So we're going to have the numerator to be 3x minus 1, all divided by the same denominator right here, which is x minus 1 times x minus 2. So this is what we have to express in partial fractions, then after that we will place our answers back. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to shift this one to the top a little bit so that you see how to set this in partial fractions. So, so this is going to be 3x minus 1 all divided by x minus 1 times x minus 2. Now in resolving this right here, we are going to end up getting two separate fractions, okay? Now, the first denominator of the first fraction is going to be x minus 1. You notice that we have a linear denominator, meaning the numerator should be a constant. In the previous video, I explained that the degree of the numerator must be 1 less than the degree of the denominator. You notice that we have a degree of 1 here, meaning the degree of the numerator is supposed to be x to the power 0. And we all know that any number to the power 0 is 1, with the exception of zero of course the condition is really important then the second factor we have x minus 2 this is also linear therefore the numerator has to be a constant now the next step is to determine the values of a and b and that will be it if we determine the values of a and b then we will replace the whole of this with what we have right here and that will be it but like i said this video is just here to show you how to set improper fractions into partial fraction. Check out my next video where I'll be solving practical questions. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more and see you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.